today we're going to be talking about why the trademark research is so important when it comes to, you know, doing the trademark application for your brand and specifically why me and most attorneys will not waive the trademark research um, when it comes to, you know, hiring our services. My name is Brianna Robertson. I'm the managing attorney here at the law office of Brianna C. Robertson that's based out in Dallas, Texas, um, but we help businesses in a lot of other places as well. Um, and yeah, what we specialize in is helping businesses stay legally protected so you can go out and do business in confidence. All right, so let's get into the topic today on why we don't waive the trademark research um, when it comes to hiring our services. Um, this is a common question I often get from people because whenever they come and try to get a trademark, um, they say like, I've already done the research. I already know that this is available. Can you just do the application? And then they try to use that to try to bargain on why our fees for our trademark should be lowered. And of course, whenever people ask that, my answer is always no. I will not waive the trademark research portion of uh, you know, the trademark process. The reason being is because that is actually the most important part of the process. Um, even if you go and do your own research, a lot of times what you um, as a client is looking for versus me as an attorney is looking for is two different things because I'm looking at things at like the legal perspective with knowing what all the, what a trademark, a, the trademark examining attorney is looking at. I'm looking at it from their perspective and what they're going to look at as they're looking at your application. And so when we're doing our research, we're looking for, you know, a lot of things such as, you know, we're looking for if you find anything like that's similar or we're looking to see the, whether there's going to be a successful application. Are you probably going to have to fight this application, the odds of you getting an office action and what type of office action would you probably get? And then if you have any defenses to that office action, um, you know, there's a lot of things that goes into doing a trademark research. When we do a trademark research, we're not simply just looking up to see if there's a, an exact match of the name um, and if the name looks like it's available, then, oh yeah, that's great. Like that is not what we're, that's not the only thing that we're looking at. Yes, we do look at that. That's like the primary, like the starting point of the trademark research, but we also need to see if this is actually going to be successful because there's a lot of other reasons that your trademark application can get kicked back. That does not mean this, you know, far more than, oh, there's an exact match to my name. You have like your other common ones, like your name being too generic. Um, that's another common reason why, you know, trademarks are uh, successful when it comes to application and a whole slew of other things as well. So, um, you know, those are things that we look for. And then the other thing that we look at is that even though you might find an exact match to your name, um, there could be ways around that and ways that you can craft your application or even the timing of filing your application where your application can still go through. And these are things that we look at as an attorney when we are, you know, looking at your, you know, researching your name is like, oh, well, I do see this exact match, but there's a possibility that this could still go through because of X, Y, and Z. Um, and so uh, that is why, you know, we don't waive the research part. Also, it would be irresponsible uh, as me as an attorney to um, try to give you legal advice without doing my own research and just basing it off of your research without going doing my own. Because if there are things that we miss in our research or if we didn't do the research and we just take your word for it and there are things that are missed, that can also cause us to be in trouble because we are the attorneys. We're the ones that are licensed by the bar and have a lot on the line. If you're coming to us for legal advice, we need to make sure that we have all the information to be able to give you correct legal advice um, or the best legal advice that we feel is best for your situation. And we can't do that if we didn't go do the research and look for all of the different, um, all of the different, you know, factors that could affect your case. So this is why um, the trademark research is the most important part. One, also, we recommend, I always recommend doing the trademark research before you even file or really put out your company, even if you can't afford to file your trademark first before starting your business, at least do the trademark research to make sure that your name is actually available. Because if not, you could go and put all this money into starting your business and find out that the name is not available. In which case, now you're doing trademark infringement, you get a cease and desist and you got to start all over. 
um, after you just put all this money into you know this business versus had you do the did the research in the beginning before investing all of this money and resources into it, you would have known and you would have had time to change prior to and you know investing and losing all of this money. Um, so that's another reason why doing the trademark research is so important and why I often advise that you do that before launching your business, even if you're not able to file your trademark application right away, at least make sure you do the research and make sure that the name is available. So um, I hope that you found this extremely helpful on why the trademark research is so important and why me and most attorney, attorneys will not waive the trademark research portion of your application because it is the most important. So, um, oh, and before I end this, I, the other reason why that is important is um, it helps you make an informed decision on whether you actually want to go forward with the application or not. Um, so yes, I hope you found this information extremely helpful. If you did, please click like, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel so that way you can get notifications whenever we have a new video that drops, um, and you know, get notifications and you can get all this information to make sure that you are legally protecting your business, that you're doing business the right way and that you can do business in confidence. Um, so until next time. I will see you later.